members only. We would make it members only if we want only other members to be able to view this content, which means Google and the search engines are not, are not going to index it, okay? If you want the search engines and anybody who wants to to be able to read this, we would choose visibility public, okay? For now, I'm going to leave my visibility at draft so people don't think Stephen's lost his mind, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we have what's called our post two option. Our first post two option is the hyper local pages, okay? This will post your content to the state's pages on Active Rain, all the way down to your neighborhood or county or city, all right? So I click the hyperlocal pages, and the system's asking me what state I'm writing about. And I pretended I was writing about Colorado, so I go to Colorado. And then it asks me what county. What county is, is, is were we talking about? Boulder. What county is Colorado Springs in? Oh. Don't know. Here, we'll just make one up then. Hang on here. I'm hoping it said like Colorado Springs or something. Let's just say it's in Chafee County. Boulder. It's in Boulder County? Okay, thank you. Well, I just I saw Boulder and I know that's Colorado. Okay, so yeah, let's do Boulder County. And then it asked me what city. Well, we could do Boulder. I don't see yeah. Colorado Springs on the list, so let's just pretend we were writing around about Boulder, right? And then we'll ask me what neighborhood. I can select the neighborhood of Boulder off of here. Wow. Right? So let's say Palo Park. Let's say the neighborhood I'm writing about or, or sub-development I'm writing about isn't on this list. I can click Add a Neighborhood, which opens up a Google map of Boulder, and I can zoom in. Here's my neighborhood. Here's my sub-development right here. I mark it on the map, and I give it the name, I don't know, Monkey... Ridge, right? So I mark the neighborhood on the map. I give it the name. I click Add Community, and that will now make Monkey Ridge an added community on that list for me to post to, which I'm not going to do because, once again, I don't want people to think I'm crazy. So for now, I'll pretend I'm in talking about Heatherwood, right? I need to check whether or not this posting is a listing, which we're pretending it is, isn't a listing, so we don't need to worry about that. Active Ring Channels. You only get a post to one channel at a time. The channels are right here on the front page of Active Rain, represented by these gold and blue boxes. So blue <coughs> are professional no. channels. Orange or gold are consumer channels. So if this was a real post meant for consumers, I'd probably choose the consumer channel about home buying, right? Because we're giving tips on how to buy homes with little to no money down. Or I might choose the mortgage finance channel, right? Let me talk now, if I choose the mortgage fire. finance channel, I'm going to go visit that channel. So let's find okay. Here's the okay. mortgage finance channel. I visited the channel. Okay. And now I'm going to try to find a topic within that channel that fits my content. So we're not talking about interest rates. We're not talking about market reports or the mortgage oh, yeah. mess. We're not okay. talking about loan modifications. We can put it into just mortgages, right? That's, that's what he's using his inspection period But now for. notice... What happens if I mute. create my own topic? It ends up yeah, really? way down hear. here. Um, yeah. Somebody's I, having a phone conversation. Yeah, I know. I just got to find out who it is and put them on mute. So. All right. Sounds like you got it. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So once again, it's very important that I go and visit that channel. I look for the popular topics within that channel. How did you find the channel, Stephen? Yeah, I just went to the front page of Active Rain. So I went to ActiveRain.com. Here's the channels over here on the right. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. I went to the Mortgage Finance Channel for Consumers right here. And now I'm looking for a good topic. And remember, we were talking about 100% down FHA loans, right? So interest rates, not so much. Shopping for mortgages, that might fit, right? Yeah. FHA loans fits better, though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I would copy that topic. Now, why don't I want to create my own topic? Because you end up way down here in the alphabetized section where nobody goes because it's way down at the bottom of the page, right? Ah. Uh. So always try to fit it into one of these more popular topics. Okay. Because it it makes it more visible on the page, and we, we're, we're, that's what we're going after is visibility. Right. So we chose the mortgage finance channel, and then we just paste it in that topic, FHA loans, and select it from the drop-down, okay? Now, groups, we can join groups 
by clicking the Groups tab right here. When we click the Groups tab, it takes us over here to where we see list of groups that we're in and list of groups that we can join. We can find groups by general region, right? So maybe a Colorado, that would be what, Northwest US? All right. Yep. So I would click regional and I could find 83 groups for the Northwest US or maybe I want to go by industry, mortgage, there's 116 groups for that. Or maybe I want to find just general topic groups, right? Maybe I want to go and join some of the most active groups. Now think about it this way. This group Realtors has 21,238 members. This group only has 219 members. If the content fit both of these groups, what group do you think I'd be more likely to post it to? One with more members. Yeah, the one with more eyeballs, right? That's right. So it's a good idea to go through this list of most active groups right here. Put them in the order of the number of subscribers and figure out what exactly are the most popular groups on Active Rain. Now, let's say I actually had a listing. Would I put that into the Realtors group? That's no, you could. right so. here, no freaking listings, right? <laughs> oh, well, no, you wouldn't then. <laughs> yeah, so you need to read the guidelines for each group to make sure that your content fits it. If I had a listing, could I put it in newbies? Sure, it says yes. do whatever the heck you want, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So make sure you're reading those guidelines for the group before you join the group, okay? okay. And I'm already okay. in this group, so, so it says leave group. When you're not in the group yet, see how it says join group right there? You click there. Once you've joined that group, now that group's going to be on your list of groups to post to. So the more groups you join, the better choices you can make, right? Yeah. Now, on this list, you only get to pick five groups from the entire list. So make your choices wisely based off of the group that best fits that content but has the highest number of subscribers. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Awesome. So moving on to categories, we can choose to post our content to categories, which are just like channels, okay? Categories is how that content is organized when you go to the blogs tab on Active Rain, okay? Categories, just like channels, are broken down either for professionals or for consumers. Now, if this was a real blog post where I was giving general information to consumers, what category do you think I'd choose? For consumers, general information. Hey, hey, I gave it away, right? I gave it to you on that one. <laughs> Boom. For consumers, general information. If this, it was a listing, I was advertising a listing, I'd probably say advertising a listing, right? Right, and then if right. I want to send it to my outside blog, which is stephenmonet.com, I check that box, and then boom, it will go over there, okay? Yeah. So once I've checked all the options for where I want to post my content to, I would post that blog entry. Does anybody notice that there's nowhere on here does it say localism? No. Right? So if we want to post to localism, there's two different ways we could, could post to localism, okay? Number Wait, one, I, do, I see it. I see it. It says post to localism. Right. Under my groups. Yeah, that's actually so. So that's actually a group called Post to Local. Oh, oh, that's so that's a group. That's a group where you've actually <laughs> this is content that you've posted to localism. You might as well post it into this group, okay? Okay. To actually, post your content to localism. Answer these hyper local pages questions, uh -huh. and that will post it into localism, or post it to the consumer channel called localism right here. See uh -huh. that regional localism? Yeah. Now, what type of content belongs in localism? Any Local type of content information? that's specific to a neighborhood or a city, state, or county. If it's just a national topic like the mortgage fiasco 101, are we going to post that to localism? No, because it's no. not specific to that general area, right? right? So I would say, remember those categories of content I gave you to write about yesterday, and one of them was hyper-local content? Yeah. Hyper-local content is the content I would be posting to localism, where I'm talking about a neighborhood or school district, that kind of stuff, right, that's specific to my local area. If it's not specific to my local area, I probably wouldn't send it out to localism because it's not going to make sense to people, okay? Once you've done all your post two options and you've set your visibility, you now post your blog entry. And how do we make that blog so it gets indexed by the search engines? 
Visibility has to be public, right? Yeah. So this is how we put together a blog post. And me, I'm going to uncheck all these options so once again people don't think Stephen's lost his mind. Speaking in tongues in my post here. And I post that blog entry as a draft so no one will be able to see it. And then I'll delete it someday later when I'm tired of it clogging up my thing. But now notice I got my map back because I added that embed code again, right? Okay. Well, so this is how question. we write a blog post on Active Rain. Simple. How are you able, I, uh, you know, how are you basic. As long as you remember title, text, tags, then you draft it. Then you do photos and hyperlinks, draft it again. And if you want to embed content, you always do that work dead last. You always put it at the bottom of the page. Once you post it as HTML, you stay on HTML. Otherwise, as you folks saw, weird things can happen, right? Yeah. How did you create the banner and, and the wallpaper, that blue wallpaper? You're actually going to learn how to do that in tomorrow's class, titled Outside <laughs> Blogs. All right. So, which brings me to a very important point. Please register for tomorrow's class. In tomorrow's class, I'm going to teach you how I got these widgets over here running down the right. I'll teach you how I got my custom colors, my custom banner. All right. I'll teach you how All I got right. this blog signature, which automatically appears at the bottom of every post that I write. I'll also teach you how to set up and maximize your active ring profile for SEO, and I'll teach you how to set up and maximize your outside blog. Okay. What wow. happens if we're unable to make that, but really? If you're unable to, be to make that, that class, it's going to be available again next week. Okay. Great. 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 All right. So you have plenty, plenty opportunities to take these classes. They run every week. Obviously. I think my last class I'm doing on the 22nd, because obviously, I mean, Stephen's got to have some time off on some holiday. <laughs> That's right. For those of you who remember, I actually did work on Thanksgiving and on Black Friday. So I figure oh. if I work on Thanksgiving, I work on Black Friday, I can take a couple weeks off oh. <laughs> for, Absolutely. for Christmas and New Year's. Yeah, but this we'll be, a great we'll call. Be, uh, next week is our last week of classes, um, and then we'll be – Back into effect, or sorry, next week I think is the next is the last full week. But I think, like I said, I think we go up to Wednesday the following week. Here, let me confirm that for you, so I'm not confusing the heck out of anybody. Hang on here. Remember, you can view our training calendar at activerain.com forward slash university. Let's see here. ARU training calendar is where you click on to go to the classes. And the manual. So, yeah, next week is the last full week of classes, and the week that follows, I'm only running up to Wednesday, okay? Okay. Yeah. So you'll want to register for either this Wednesday or next Wednesday, but that's going to be the last opportunity this year, and then you'll have to wait till next year. No, I can't okay. make it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, take it, take it this week or take it next week is going to be your best option. What I recommend everybody does is what you, what you learn in these first two classes now, you are dangerous, okay? <laughs> I would write a blog post sometime tonight or tomorrow, and then I'd take that draft review class and get it reviewed. I'd leave it in draft mode so people can't see it, and yeah. I'd get it reviewed, and once 